Hey guys, and welcome back to another ranked 2v2 video. We're actually pushing back into the top 10 in the ranked leaderboard, so I asked Garrett G if he'd join me for a couple games of twos to try and rank up a bit higher. As you guys probably know, Garrett G is part of the Team Energy, and recently his team reached the grand finals of the first ever RLCSX regionals. So he's considered one of the top six players in North America at the moment, and within those players, he's definitely known for being super consistent on the pitch. I feel like my playstyle fits that consistency pretty well, so let's get right into the matches and see how they go. Enjoy. <laughs> and there we go. It's a late placement. So I have a huge, huge announcement for you guys. Fall Guys Slime Climb is finally ready to go. And I'll be recording a playtest and stress test of this on Sunday at 7 p.m. Eastern. If you're one of my Tier 2 or Tier 3 Patreon supporters, you can join me in some runs through the map. Reminder, this is for PC players only, and you have to have all the modded map setups done prior to 7 p.m. Eastern on Sunday. I have a link on how to set all that up in the description, as well as a link to my Patreon. But here's the final video update of Slime Climb and Rocket League. Enjoy! Alright guys, the final video update for Fall Guys and Rocket League. It is finally completed. I cannot wait to play this with you guys. Um, like I said before, I'm going to be uh, playing a stress test of 60 players to see if we can get a full lobby going, which would be really insane. Um, but this thing looks incredible. It just looks so good. Uh, I built this all from scratch, obviously, so uh, it does look as close as I could make it to the Fall Guys map. Everything is custom models and everything. But yeah, as you can see, we have the, the moving Rocket League balls here, and uh, the slime also does climb up here, as you would assume, because it's called Slime Climb. Uh, but yeah, I'm really happy with how it looks. Uh, it took a lot of time on stream to create this, as, as the people who have watched on stream know. Um, all the stuff works though, like even this pushes you to the side as we talked about before in the previous updates. Um, and these pillars push you. And I finally got all the wrecking balls and the slime moving, so... It's finally a complete map, and it's gonna be so insane to see just how many players, uh, <laughs> can actually work in this thing. I'm sure I can probably handle it on my computer, but I'm not sure if other people will be able to, like, watch it. Also, the one thing I couldn't get working is the slime here, uh, actually making it slippery for you. So I think what I'm going to do is have everyone just agree that we're going to hold handbrake while we're going across those. Uh, there's not much more I could do about it. I can make the the, the roof of the car slide uh, indefinitely uh, and same as the sides, but the wheels have a different friction value that are actually internally in the game. And uh, we couldn't find a way to do that without using like a plugin or external plugin, which I didn't really want to do because having 60 players join and coordinate, uh, you know, the map working as it is, it's probably difficult. But as you can see, uh, the whole thing works. The final Wrecking Balls don't have collision yet, I'm just testing that out. Uh, but yeah, there's the qualified little cage, you're in here and you're watching the rest of the people fail as they uh, try to attempt going across all the the platforms and obstacles, so... Pretty happy with it. Uh, obviously if you fall into the slime, right now I'm underneath the slime because I respawn, but if you fall into the, the, the trigger area, you will be eliminated on this side. So it'll be exciting to see just how many people will make it and how many people fail, and then what we'll do is we'll have several rounds of that. Uh, so yeah, that's the whole map. Hope you guys enjoy the update. And like I said, Tier 2 and Tier 3 patrons will be joining in on this map, so it's been a lot of fun. One last thing before we jump into the matches, I'd just like to quickly thank each and every one of you who watch my content and enjoy what I do to bring daily content to the community. We're nearing 400,000 subscribers, which I never would have imagined reaching ever on YouTube. So once again, thank you so much, and let's get right back into the content you guys enjoy. Alright, we got our first game. We got Aqua and Seabass. Feeling pretty speedy right now, we'll see how it goes. Oh, it's pretty high. All right, way bash back. Just had a bit of caffeine, so it feels a little bit weird. Should be all right. Put a nice little block. I'll go for the demo on this guy. Jumps for it early. So he jumps for it a little bit, so that means I can block him. Nice, good job. To be mid. I go for flip set here, so I'm just gonna wait. I go, I'll get a block. Should be on the right side. Garrett can turn. Try to get out of his way. Should be some space for him, too. Oh, man, that's fast. Hold to the left. Not really close enough for him, though. I actually feel too speedy. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. I don't usually have caffeine. What a pinch. Nice little block. Get the boost from him. Oh, I tried to block him, but it didn't really work. Should be alright, though. Be able to beat him there. Hopefully, Garrett can push up. 
Pop it mid first Garrett. Gets like a good clear. I actually feel so fast. This is the fastest I've felt in a really long time. Probably the caffeine. Nice block. Should be alright though. Seabass gets a shot opportunity, but it's not the greatest chance. I'm gonna push up for this one. Garrett wants to stay with it, so I'll get the back right corner. Nice double. Should be able to stay with it. Nice little block. Oh, that mid boost wasn't there. So that, that was a miscalculation there. I thought uh I thought that boost would be there for Garrett on the turn. Good shot opportunity. So that bounce is gonna be pretty good for us. So I get the beat on him. There should be a goal there. Nice. Like I feel actually too fast. So my movements feel like a little bit rubbery, which is a little bit weird. Uh, it happens when I drink coffee and uh here we are. That's a good that's a good demo or block. I knew it was gonna happen, it's just it's hard to uh Oh, it's fine. Uh, not much I can really do with that. Seabass and Awkward are actually queued together, so we could see some fake opportunities. Okay, it's a good flick. Make him force it over. Might get beat out here. Pop it up. Maybe I can follow it again. Garrett might shoot. I think I'm going to have to clear it out. In a really awkward position. Garrett will get a challenge. It's a good job. Be a shot too. Nice try. It's not on target. Garrett should make it for that that rebound. There we go. All right. Nice little block. Lots of space. Garrett should take it. Pass that mid. Gets uh, snuffed out, but that's over. I don't want. I don't want to actually accidentally own goal. Nice block. I'm gonna go early. Kind of recognize that. It's a good demo, but I don't know if it's open here. Shoot it far left side. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Snuck it in. It's a good demo uh, to open up some space. I had very little boost, uh, so trying to uh, find that opening if we could. Nice block by them. Could be a bit awkward for us. Nice defense. That 50-50 that wasn't exactly what I wanted or expected. Oh, my bad. Should have beat him there. Oh, that's in too. That's my bad. Uh, <clears throat> put him in a weird spot. He couldn't really clear it properly. He wanted to pop that out. So I was trying to sit in midfield instead of returning all the way back. Because I was trying to get in mid for, the, for a backboard clear. Uh, obviously, he didn't make the contact. So he's going for boost here. Do some space. Let him stay with it. He might go for flip reset. Good job. <laughs> I think we got the perfect read there. Yeah, we did. There we go. That's a bit of a stuff. Right in the net. Off that catch. I can tell exactly what Aqua's going to do there. He's trying to bring it down for a flick the second he catches. But at that point, I'm already reading it. And we get a perfect shot. So a great start to the video. Got some pretty good shots in this game. And if we don't win... I'm gonna pop it over Aqua and try to get back down with a bit of boost, but save it so I can go back for a faster flip. It's all about boost efficiency there. So right here, he's gonna go for a flip reset, maybe. Maybe not. So Aqua's gonna take that boost. I'm gonna try and go for a bump of some sort. It's a great shot. Great placement on the shot, too. Uh, the power uh, isn't so important there. It's just about catching the players off guard. And getting a quick early shot after the, the poor 50-50. So as expected, we do get them again for game number two. Let's see if we can get another W here. I feel pretty clean at the beginning of the last game. Uh, even though I was feeling super speedy. Uh, I haven't really played ranked. So I don't really play that much ranked anymore. Uh, so playing like a high level is always interesting. Both of them are up here. So he does throw it forward. Oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> oh, that's just open. <laughs> So I got a good catch, and uh, Garrett immediately turned for the demo. <laughs> Ruthless. <clears throat> so we get a free free goal there. Uh, that that double commit on the uh, the aerial challenge. Uh, <laughs> adapting. <laughs> yeah, that's that, that's how you uh, play into today's day and age of, of Rocket League twos, especially twos. So we flip reset. There we go. Open goal again. So a great flip reset forces the uh, the challenge into midfield. 
There you go. It's a really clean flip reset. It doesn't go obviously go on target uh, enough to be a goal, but uh, it puts the defender in a really awkward situation. That's kind of what you want to do. Uh, especially in 2v2, just force out those situations. I got to go high in here. He actually goes low, which could be good enough to make a shot opportunity. That's my bad. Put him in a really dumb situation. I tried to go for the high hit. Looked like he was going to rush it. And uh, I went for the block. Uh, in 2v2, any mistakes you make are going to just immediately get punished. Oh. Not really sure what's going on here. I'm just going to wait. Garrett wants to chase it up. So we're one. Try and follow it here to get four, at least four something out. It's not quite on target, but Aqua should follow it. And I'll just go behind Garrett. There we go. Oh, wow. To be a nice boom. Aqua's in a weird spot. He has to get boost. So Garrett's going to try and force something out here. I wait again. He's faking it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Ugh. And no boost. Hopefully Garrett can take it. There you go. That was pretty dumb of me. I didn't need to touch that away from Garrett there. Kind of ball chasing a little bit, but happens. Try to force him out. Get the boost behind. Get, put Garrett in a, a fine situation here. That's a bit high, but make sure I'm defending behind him. Good follow-up, too. Probably going to go for a catch. Go for a bump. It's a good play. Might be open. Early rush by Aqua. He's pretty low boost after that, that spawn. So I know that he's not going to be a, a bit of a threat for a little bit. I shouldn't have waited so long. I saw Garrett on the left side. It's a bit dangerous. Should be a demo opportunity. Good fake. He did rush it, but that ball gives us some space now because he had to push it down the field. So it's not the worst situation. This could be another flip reset. <laughs> and the fake too. <laughs> Perfect play by Garrett. The flip resets are really, really dangerous. So in that situation where Garrett was on the left side, I really shouldn't have tried to catch it for so long. I probably could have uh, boomed it over because I knew I was in a situation where if I'm last and I get challenged, uh, I'm going to be in a bad situation. I'm trying to get high on this. So it goes really high. It's going to be difficult to shoot. Should be enough to, to give us some open space. Good 50 as well. I'll try to push mid. See best is last. What a block. Some space. I'll let him stay with it. It's a good flick. I'm going to fake going high on this. Get it over one. I was going to go off the wall. But uh, in that situation, I don't really have to. There's enough space I can, I can wait on it. Since he boomed it away. See if we can get a demo. Good block. Try to get the boost from him. There we go. Stole it from him. Oh, my bad. Try to get out of his way. Aqua might touch that again. Put it behind Seabass at least so that way it goes to the clear on the left side. I'll leave that boost for him just in case he wants it, which he does. And there we go. You can get a 50 50 in mid again. I missed the shot. That's really dumb. Really bad play. Could be a chance for them now too. He was high on it. Which uh, gives us some space. Go for the demo on me. That's fine. Put the cross. And it should be open for him. There we go. So in that situation, me jumping, I get the boost. And also, if you didn't know, uh, grabbing a corner boost, you're always going to get it first if you're above it for some reason. I actually don't know why that is exactly. Uh, but if you do that, you actually end up getting the grab on the boost uh, the same person if you're right if you're in the same position and you're above them you will grab it first for some reason I don't, i'm not sure why but what i did there was i tried to avoid the uh, demo on the on the corner spawn there so i can grab the boost and then immediately just drive into the ball and send it across because i know that's going to be awkward out if i go for that so after a much longer queue we get mile and omar and uh both very very solid 2v2 players a bit scary so you got a solid 50 50 here here should get the mid boost this game's going to be quite sweaty. I can already see it. He did beat me there, but just a bit of bump him. So Omar followed it. Let's throw the ball away, though. Get the beat on him. Could be a goal. Close. Might not be able to land in time. He's going to bump me, too. This will be a goal. Oh, he gets back, actually. Uh-oh. 
So I just spawned there. I wasn't sure if Garrett was able to follow. That's kind of my bad. I uh, I should have just waited. Assumed that he was going to follow in the corner. It just sucks that I spawn on that side because I'm right where the ball spawns. But if I, or not spawns, but right where the ball is. It ends up happening uh, quite a bit in Rocket League where the players are all over where you're, where you're going to spawn. Just got to wait here and get in the way if I can. Probably follow this on air dribble here. Almost nothing you can do. Those those situations in two v two are like impossible to deal with. Uh, once he gets an air dribble set up, he's gonna follow through with the an air dribble and pretty much destroy you. That's that's two v two for you. Nice save. He's gonna double me on my way down for my troubles. Hit fifty fifty. Spawn right there, of course. Let him stay with it. stay with this. He's going to probably double me if I don't go fast. There it is. So I had to try and pr probably just flick that ball. Another air dribble set up. There's a touch across. I know Omar's just going to go. He does that a lot. Both players turned. Oh, he missed. Oh! Oh, no. So did they. They missed again. I'm going to avoid the demos if I can. It's not in yet. This could be good for us, but Miles gonna have a touch. It's a good chance. I think I shot it on target pretty much. Oh, he did read it. It's a good touch. Help again. There we go. Right out the miss uh, from Garrett. A little bit faster than I believe it was Miles challenging. Or he used no more. So yeah. Saw that. Saw that miss from Garrett pretty early. Just went for the early shot. So it's time to come back in this one. Pinch it to him. He's going to get an air dribble set up here. So I got to get back as fast as possible. You hate to see it. <laughs> That's what Miles is going to do every time he gets an air dribble set up. He's going to go for the flip reset. Sort of like what Garrett was doing in the first, I think, first game it was. Gets the perfect setup and then there's nothing you can really do. Uh, in that situation, I probably shouldn't give him a free a free air dribble with the, my pinch. It's such a small mistake that I get the boost. Pop it out mid for him. I get dusted here. Yeah, that's on target too. It's a little bit slow there. It's all good. It happens. So I get the beat out on here, but Garrett was in the middle of trying to turn. At that point, he's going to get beat out. Still two and a half minutes left. So he goes fast on the kickoff. It's around me. That's fine. That bump will cause some issues. To be fast enough to deal with them. See that pop that's gonna come out of that air dribbles, uh, air air roll. Oh my! Can't quite go for this yet. He's gonna probably try and catch it. He does. Get the 50-50. Go behind him here. See if he can pass left. Oh, I tried to go for the early the the snuff there on the on the block just because I I know we need a few goals. There we go. I'm gonna fake this. So I think Miles pretty low. He does go for the, the backflip. So now puts us in a weird spot. No, he's just gonna ball chase it. Should be open for Garrett. There we go. So I can tell he's just gonna challenge off that corner. So I just pop the ball forward instead. Yeah, beats out both players. Omar's trying to chase back, and Garrett gets the free shot. So there's still, I still, I still think it's possible that we can get back here. It's going to be pretty diff difficult, especially against these two players. They're very, very uh, chasey uh, in twos, just like that. And he's going to challenge right away. So I try to go for the early flick. Good speed. It's not in yet. I don't think. No, it's not. Force 50-50 sideways. Goes for the clear. Gets a miss on that one. Go for the block high. Go for the. I tried to go for the bump just in case he went. Nice 50. That could be in too. Nice. So we see, like I said, there's still plenty of time. It is a bit hard when you get against players like this, but you know you get these situations where just a quick uh, challenge could work out for us. 
So I actually like completely missed the the demo or the bump on the wall. But it's okay. I'll avoid demos in mid here. Get an early 50-50. Omar's forced up early. Does get the misses, but go early on this touch. Put him in an awkward situation. Could keep up pressure here. There we go. Late 50-50. Could go for the double. See if he can get it. I'm gonna pop it up high. I've got zero boost, so Miles forced up to get use up most of his boost here. Now Omar took collected corner, so this could be a good chance for us. I'm gonna go for the 50-50. We have to push up a little bit here. Ah, that 50-50 was a little bit late by me. Still a pretty good chance. Oh, I tried. I tried I tried to pass that forward. He's going to probably fake this. That should be down, unfortunately. So we got pretty close to the, the recovery, but it didn't happen. It's all good. We'll move on to the next one. All right, can we get our revenge? We get the same players. I think we've gotten a good idea of their game plan, so we should be able to handle it a little better this game. Especially since uh, I would say that a lot of their... their Getting ahead in the game was from those early, those early air dribble bumps. So as long as we don't overcommit, uh, it should be a better situation. Give me a good shot, great shot. There we go, good placement. So places where we accidentally roll the ball into their defense, it's better to just hit the ball around them, put it in a situation where we can recover. Get that across, but Garrett's going to be cut out by Omar. Oh no. Could be a goal here too. Yeah, so I didn't expect I didn't expect Garrett to throw it across. I was trying to keep it to the corner. I think he panicked after he got that miss. Try to get the, the late 50-50. This is where we don't you want to overcommit. Try to get the back corner. There actually isn't no back corner, so. Oh. I'm expecting, I'm expecting him to go for a, a, a dunk here or a dribble. Zero boost. I can't really go for this. I call out need boost. So Miles panicking a little bit. He does get the beat on me, but they're both pretty low. I go for a little bit of a block. There you go. Should get the boost. Of course, we got Mile here. Close. So I do beat that guy, but they're both going for the uh, the aerial block. Bit of a miss. What a touch. So Omar does get the miss, so that means I can go on this. Oh, I tried. I zero boost. That was pretty difficult. I tried to go for the, the pre-flip. Get that shot. Miles backwards. That clear should be giving us some space. Good fake. Good block too. So Miles backwards. He's backwards as well. This could be a good shot. <laughs> and there we go. It's a late placement. Big brain. <laughs> oh. And slow shot. Huge. Yeah, that's what you do. Just sometimes you just go for the placement. Sometimes they expect to. Uh, the faster shots. Almost backwards here. I'm gonna try and get behind Garrett as fast as possible. Nice bump. Pop over the one. Miles gonna go for the touch again. I'm gonna fake this actually. So he gives, gives Garrett some space in the clear. Pop over the one. Oh no. Should be all right. Okay, that was a little bit close. Fake was a good idea, but uh. Oh my gosh. It could just be in. <laughs> nice shot. Uh, the fake was a good idea. Uh, it was a little bit scary though because I wasn't really ready for the next touch or the next fake. So I was actually in a bad situation. I kind of turned the other way. I was thinking maybe he'd pass it back or something. That should just be in. Uh, mile push up way too far. Like I said, we kind of another game plan this game. I think they're going to be just full on aggression. Uh, especially with being down goals now, they're going to be even more aggressive. So we'll probably find a few more openings as we... Uh, to play through this game. So there's the over aggression. 
Good. And now we're just playing super fast. I get the pinch it towards gold, but he's going to probably clear it mid, and there's the open again. So that's what I'm talking about. They're just going to find some more aggression over and over and over again and uh, end up over committing. And we get the win. All right, so Garrett's getting off. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that video. That was a lot of fun. Uh, I'm going to obviously cancel the queue here. Um, but until, uh, definitely check out his Twitch if you want to. And he's starting to go back on YouTube. I'll drop both those in the top of the description. Uh, it's a lot of fun to play with him. He's one of the most consistent players, if not the most consistent player, in my opinion. Uh, so if you guys want to check him out, definitely, definitely check him out. And uh, let me know if you guys enjoyed this video, if you want to see more with him or other players. But until next time, I'll catch you guys in the next video.